Hello, my friends. Recently, we had conversation in our family and I decided to share my thoughts about it. So if you don't know, I have three boys, 14, 11, and nine. And as a Christian, of course, I want my kids to become believers, to become followers of uh, Jesus. And we had this conversation, somebody asked a question like that, it scares us as a parent when the kids asking, telling something like, okay, I'm not sure if God exists. I'm not sure about beliefs. I'm not sure about like where I'm standing at, at that point, you know, and it's, of course, it's kind of scares us as a Christian. So, and I want to share just my thoughts about it. So for me personally, I kind of like when my, um, son is um, open and honest with me about where he's standing in the faith because at that point we can discuss with him um, like what doubts you have and we ha can have conversation you know and it helps him and me understand where we are and I know what to pray about and um, kind of I'm helping him to grow in relationship with God and um, I hope everybody knows that we can save our kids. Only Jesus can save. At that point, we give full responsibility, kind of, and full authority to God, who can kind of touch the heart of our kids and open their eyes that they can um, know Jesus and follow and build their relationship with Him. But what we can do as a parents from our side, it's uh, to be honest, it's to be kind of like guide um, what to be to follower, you know, and to help kids see us honestly, you know, see how we struggle with something that we can share with kids. Of course, it's like age appropriate kind of, if they can understand what is going on. With my 14 years old, I can share like uh, my struggles or um, if something I'm going through that I can share with uh, with him, that he can see how I'm going through. So recently we had a um, hard time. Uh, we rented a house and the owner decided to sell it. So he gave us two months to find another house. We decided to buy the house and we struggled. The market was crazy and we struggled a lot to go through. At that point, I always shared with my kids what I'm going through. It's like, a kind of, yes, it's scared for me because we had at some point, we had month, we were in the process to buy a house and we didn't know where to go. So we decided, okay, we need maybe to check hotel to stay or where to stay. And I discussed everything with my kids. So we found the playlist uh, on YouTube, the songs that encouraged um, me. And I always say, okay, let's, let's listen to this song. And they kind of uh, memorized this song with me to sing. And sometimes they saw me crying because it was so hard to, because as a parent, I'm like, okay, we are going to end up on the streets, you know, and it's kind of, it was so scary. And I would share with kids what I'm going. And at the same time, I shared with them where I'm finding my hope, you know, where I'm finding my strength. So I asked them to pray with me. If I'm crying, they would come to me and say, mom, is everything okay? And I'm like, okay, um, everything okay. Just like for me, it's so hard. Let's pray with me. And they would pray with me. You know, if something good, I would share it. And they can see that I'm not like, super woman, you know, like super Christian that going and everything okay and everything is good because we all struggle. We all have our ups and downs in um on the way, you know, Christian way. And um, when you share with your kid this, the, your child can see how you are dealing, what you are doing and who is Jesus for you. And they kind of learn their watches. And this is what actually helped me. If you watch my testimony, I said like, 
I had so many doubts. Even I uh, was baptized. I had so many doubts about uh, Christianity and God, if he exists or not. And because of this kind of people in my life that I saw them, what kind of relationship they had. It wasn't kind of like, okay, there is God and there is us, you know, and I'm trying, I'm pretending to be good and Christian and kind of perfect. This is what actually opposite. It actually pushed away me from God. But when I saw people who is like honest, uh, how they are going, what they are dealing with, I saw that, okay, these people kind of live the same life, but what they have, they have hope, they have strength, they have um, everything they need in life. And Jesus, you know, they have counselor, they have, uh, he can comfort them give strength and i wanted it i wanted this kind of in my life and that's why it's actually pushed me forward to god to find him to find this strength and i still uh this is the most important for me you know whenever i'm going through the uh, the more harder time in my life the more i um lean to God, the more I am kind of like try to grab and not to let him go until he would answer something or just give me peace or um, whatever I need in my life. And this is what I want to see my kids because I know I just want to share with them real um, life with Jesus. What is it? And we always discuss and compare and I said like, yes, I'm a sinful person, I still sin and I still do some something like I can yell at them, I can do something and ask forgiveness. And this is show that, that I'm a person, I'm not holy and I'm always go to Jesus to find everything I need in him, to find happiness, to find strength, to find uh, answers, to calm me down you know, when I'm like um, lost or frustrated or something in my life. and. This is just my kind of view on this. So don't be scared when kids ask you this. Be happy because at that point you can share. Be honest with them, especially with teenagers because little kids, maybe they, they don't see everything, but teenagers, they see. They see how much time they you spend reading Bible, how you read the Bible, how you live your life. They see everything. And if we pretend, you know, that we are like good Christian, we go to church, oh, we open and read the Bible, but we Jesus for us something far and we just read the Bible and rest of the day we live like um, nothing happened you know we just every day live our lives I don't think that would be good example for kids and that would be harder for them you know to find this kind of relationship on their own so at that point I pray and I share, and for me, the best when kids just, you know, come to me and if something happened, they would like, I would share something to them and say like, oh, I just um, find out that our friend has cancer. And I love when my kids just come and say, mom, let's pray right away. Or sometimes I got some news and I'm, or just bad day, you know, and sometimes I'm just staying and crying and they would come hug me and like, start praying about me or I'm sick and they doing it. And I see they kind of picking up this way to build up friendship with God, because how we can build up friendship with God, if we give him a chance, you know, if we ask something and see how he answered, sometimes he answered right away. Sometimes it's not, sometimes you have to wait, but it's not like, oh, okay, he doesn't answer. I don't believe anymore or something. It's just like, the way we build up friendship with Jesus, our kids just looking at us, and this is the best gift we can give to our kids. So I hope that would be for someone advice and encouragement. Have a good day.